What's up guys, it's me here Nico321 making another video of the Tech It tutorial stuff and this time it's on this only everything you see from the nuclear reactor, the pipe down to that, all of this is just added stuff which I decided to add because there was too much ice here so basically what this is, is an absolutely stable nuclear reactor with 47 uranium cells. <laughs> there! Sorry. <clears throat> 47 uranium cells and it's absolutely stable. Doesn't explode. Current cycle down 500. As you can see, the thermal monitor doesn't have to do anything. And you can even power a mass fabricator at ridiculous speeds, as you can see here. Of course, you have to um, hook it down a bit for it to go into the cables. So how the hell did I do this? Well, unless you weren't looking at the tutorial, which is probably going to be above in the tech, in the if you're looking at the tech at wiki, um, this is how you make it. What do you do? It what you do is, if I can remember fully, you get condense a uh, two. Yeah, this is really a uh, rather resource efficient, um, inefficient. So one energy condenser and two Mark One energy collectors. I'm gonna make it here because no one apparently cares about these churches. I mean I don't think there's anybody in as well. Nope, nobody's in. So one here and one here. Then you place a condenser here. That 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 you've just started it, haven't you? Um in fact you shouldn't really build them yet because they'll start making energy and that energy is wasted but still. No I can't type um, but I generally do these, but you can put a torch or a um, thingy lantern there, jack-o'-lantern there. Next thing you need is a filter and the screwdriver, perhaps. And the place you're gonna get the filter. You're gonna place it in front of the of the condenser. Then you get the screwdriver. Yes, a screwdriver. You can even get a sonic screwdriver. I've got no clue what it does. And you keep turning it until the small side is facing this way, facing away from the condenser, and the really, really large hole is facing towards the condenser. If you want more reference stuff, you see this grey, well, light bright, this line here. You'll probably not be using fax like I am, but there is still this line here with a box, empty box underneath it. Hello, test difficult. Um, it will be facing towards the condenser. I'm hoping that you want one second. Um, let's see. Yep, that's perfectly fine. Just making sure. So from here, you. Oh yeah, you also need ice. I'll show you how you make ice soon, but this is um, just the start of it. Next, you get you some pneumatic tubes. The way you make a pneumatic tube, if you don't know, is two pieces of brass and one piece of glass. To make brass, you need to get an alloy furnace and you get three copper and one tin. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you also you have to make how to make that. So a filter is five pieces of cobblestone in this form, one piston in the middle, two gold ingots and a wood a red doped wafer. A red doped wafer is made by one four pieces of redstone and a silicon wafer. And this is furthermore made from a diamond tansel and silicon boule there. And that's made from coal and sand. Simples. <clears throat> so, um, if you don't know how to make an energy collector, that's how you make it. Six pieces of glowstone, yes, you have to go to the nether. Block of diamond, glass, and a furnace. Block of diamond is just nine diamonds, a furnace is a border of cobblestone. I'm telling everything. And glowstone is just four dust. To make an energy condenser, this is all you need. Four diamonds, four obsidian, and an alchemical chest. To make an alchemical chest, you need all of this stuff. Chest, two iron, two smooth stone, one diamond, and all three types of covalence dust. This is made from stone. Oh dear. <laughs> I have to go through that again. This is, well, stone and charcoal. That This is made from iron and redstone, and the most expensive one, someone needs to teach me how to make it so I can go just back a page. A di piece of diamond and a piece of coal. All of this is just crafted here. Hit, uh, in the crafting table. So if the crafting table, this is the crafting table. Just do it over there. Okay. So now you get your pneumatic tubes, which I've shown you how to make already. Is preferably free that you need. Okay. 
but make sure there's two, if, if you're going to do this, then just make sure there's one gap before you place the nuclear reactor. Yes, this is where you place the nuclear reactor. So first of all, you get a piece of stone or whatever, whatever you want to make, have the, you're going to destroy it anyway soon, so I would advise using dirt. Then you get your nuclear reactor, which is made by two pieces of advanced circuit, a generator, two reactor chambers, and advanced alloys. Advanced alloys are made by mixed metal ingots. Advanced circuits are made from four pieces of redstone, two pieces of glowstone, two pieces of lapis, and an electronic circuit. The electronic circuit is made from six copper wire, one refined iron, which is made by s and two pieces of redstone. Refined iron is made by smelting iron ore. Copper is made by six pieces of rubber and three pieces of copper. This is getting really boring for me now. Oh well. Um, generator is simply this. Three pieces of refined iron, RE battery, and iron furnace. RE battery is one piece of wire up here. Oh god, I've nearly forgotten the crafting recipe for that, and I don't want to tell you the wrong one, so... Because it doesn't come up. RE battery. So an RE battery is made by... One piece of white redstone iron. Um, copper iron there, two pieces of redstone, and four pieces of tin around here. So two redstone where the refined iron is, and the oh God. and the iron furnaces, um, and two pieces, four pieces of tin here and here. This is a lot of crafting to do. Then the reactor chambers made by advanced alloys again, and the machine block, which is eight pieces of refined iron, and an integrated heat disperser. Integrated heat disperser. That's made by an advanced circuit, which I showed you before, coolant cells, and an integrated reactor plating, and two pieces of copper. This is made by four tin in a diamond shape, and then right-clicking a water source, and then um, extracting that. This is made by a piece of advanced alloy and four copper. Finally done with the nuclear reactor. Whew! Oh yeah, I need to make it day again. You know how to make a uh, <laughs> reactor chamber now, so you place you place your reactor chambers all around. I mean, if I, if I show you before, this is how much space you got in the nuclear reactor now. This is how much space you got after placing the reactor chambers. Yes, you place them everywhere, then you right click the chamber, and suddenly it's entirely full. Another pro of doing this is the fact that it will also make sure that you your um, nuclear reactor is a bit more cooler. Yes, cooler. Whew, that's a word. This is really, really making my head light feel light. So now I need some ice. No, not ice yet. No, I mean... Now I need a... Pff, what's it called? He, this thing here, which is a thermal monitor, three pieces of redstone, a redstone repeater and a lever. That would just take four inventory spaces for me, so I'm happy with that. Oh, yeah, and you destroy the bottom block, whatever it was, and place with a nuclear reactor chamber. Reactor chamber. Oh, the tutorial that's online says, oh, you need three pieces of stone, redstone. You just need one there and a thingy, and one of these there, unless you want to have it. There, actually, not come to think of it. Like, screw what I said. I don't trust myself. I'm probably gonna blow up if I tell you that. So, you get your thermal monitor. You shift and right click, and it's preset to 500. So when this this starts overheating, this starts sending power. However, it only sends power around the front of it, or this space, this space, this space above it here this space here and this space here and the same with the left left of it for some reason it doesn't send it back into the reactor so what you do is you just have this redstone line going back into the reactor and there we go and also if you want to manually shut it down now you make a lever that's and you shift click, shift click to make a thermal monitor you need seven pieces of refined reinforced glass that's the phone which I'm going to ignore Reinfor in the bed you go. You can still hear. Oh well. So f 
seven pieces of reinforced glass and then advanced circuit. The reinforced glass is made by seven pieces of glass and two advanced alloys. I think that that's done. So you know how to make a thermal monitor now. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, unforeseen consequences. So when you turn it on, it, this reactor will not do anything, and you want to keep it on for now. Okay. So you're with me so far. If not, then tell me. You're with me. Good. So now we're gonna go back to the filter and stuff, and we're going to place ice into the um, into the condenser. Now the way you make ice is snowballs. If I just get some snowballs, why the hell is that? Alright. Um and a um oh well uh was a compressor. Which is a singularity compressor. Which I'm going to set up and that's it. Wow my my vision was warped for a second. Um, it was a. I'm just gonna get a low voltage solar array and just spam it around. So, yep, as you can see, you do this. Now, what you do is you start compressing the snowballs. One second. Transform upgrade stack of that. Um, and it was solar. And I'm just going to get some high voltage solar arrays around it. There we go. So you just compress that. That's it. <laughs> you compress each snowball makes one piece of ice. It's just worth. This is just worth EMC. That's not. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Okay, so now you've got that. That's good. If you do understand that, if you don't, then tell me in the comments, and I will probably read every single comment you place there. As in, I do read every one of them myself. <clears throat> so you you get you put your ice into there. You can start doing the EMC stuff, even which I will, and you're using Mark One energy collectors. Okay, Mark One. Okay, and then you get a timer. To make a timer, you've got to make all of this stuff. <sighs> right, so all of it requires stone wafers. For example, stone po pointer requires one stone, one resin torch, and stone wafer. Um, to make a stone wafer, you need just need to smelt some stone. That's it. So to make a stone wire, it's just a piece of redstone and snow stone wafer. To make Stone cable, you need redstone cathode, you need sto uh, a redstone torch and a stone wafer. To make an anode, you need s all four pieces of redstone and three pieces of wafer. You just need to make one because it makes three itself. Um, so, yeah. And that's it. Yay, that was quick. So, you, you get your timer, you stick it next to it. And you can put it whatever time you like, but as the tutorial says, keep it at eight seconds because. That's how long it takes for this to make a full stack. One second, I'll be. I'm gonna be right back. I'm back. Right, so, um, <coughs> where was I? Timer. So, every eight seconds it takes to make one full stack of these. Right? So, you, you're with me still. So, the reason why you want. Now, we're going to go back to the reactor. 
So the reason why you want to keep this on is because we don't want, well, the lever on is because we don't want the reactor bleh, to be doing stuff. Wow, that was my first piece of proper exercise for so long. Um, so what you do is you just you have to get 47 pieces of uranium cell and stick them all into the reactor. 47. However, there is one difference to the way that you put the uranium into it in comparison to what you think would be normal when I say stick it into there. So you just need you need 47 pieces, which is this this much. However, the last two pieces you put one there and one there. The reason why is with even the if you have it, so this is here. This is here. It produces slightly more react um power in comparison to this, which you would probably say, yeah, this is that's really good. Why don't you do it? But the thing is, yep, that's how you probably sound. I've got no clue. Um, the thing is, if you do not even high voltage. Quadruple insulated wire could take the power of this reactor. That's how bloody powerful it is. <laughs> um, and then from here you connect the pneumatic tubes. P N E. So you stick this there, and it starts sending a stack down at a time. I'm gonna change. I usually t change it four seconds sooner or later and forget to change it back. But as you can see, it slowly fills up. Right. And the reason why the reason why this works is because ice is the most effective way of um, cooling down a nuclear reactor. So if I just get myself a high voltage cable, quadruple insulated, stick it. I'll just stick it on top. No, I can't apparently. How about that? <laughs> Right, stick it on top, get a transform, and it was a... 4 meter? It tells me, nope. Was that an ammeter? Oh, they got moved to ammeter, oh well. Um, I've got no clue what... To, supposed to detect it and fight the power. I've completely forgotten it also. But if I just stick a transformer, yes, sorry, transformer. We need to because it's so ridiculous how much the power it just gives. Look how bloody thick the cables are, and these will blow if you have if you power it to full capacity. Um, and you get I just get some a glass fiber cable. It's best if you do the transformation immediately. Well one block away because these lose power ridiculously quickly I'm not sure what the rate is but it's so quick I'm just gonna get a um, thingy um, mass fabricator again stick it on top, plonk it on top this is to prove how fast this is so I'm gonna turn it on this pump is currently using up the ice which is getting current constantly re replenished and we're already on 20, 30% now well well guys, you've just made your very first stable nuclear reactor that pretty much fills it almost entirely with uranium. Well done. If this worked, put a pat on your have a pat, pat yourself on the back or on the shoulder or get someone else to do it. If it didn't work, you might have missed something. Maybe it's because of the fact that you didn't turn this off or um or um what else would, what could it be? Or just generally you weren't listening to me and you were currently looking at your weird files that are on your computer which I don't want to know about. <clears throat> so, um, even though I am a fairy and I probably I will be very, very interested. Anyhow, um, <laughs> hmm. So, this produces a ridiculous amount of power. You've just seen it. You can see it works at the moment. Um, I could link up whatever I wanted to on this. So, yeah, because up to this point you're probably using solar arrays like I was over there, or wind generators, or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't advise any wind generators, they're terrible. Um, and as you can see, this one works perfectly well. If you want to make sure that you have a storage of ice, 
What I just generally do is stick a ton of chest.